Yeah, I had somebody ask me, um, how does the zoom mode, horizontal zoom mode work on the SCS 2000 X plus series oscilloscope? So we're just gonna have a very, very brief look at that. Uh, personally, I don't find it that useful, but it's it's a nice feature. So people like uh, gidgety gadgety things, as my wife says. I'm certainly one of those, but in this case, I think it's 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 not a terribly useful thing. But here, okay, so here we have a signal. I'm producing this signal with a, a pulse generator here. The pulse generator is going into a T on channel one, and then down through a few meters of cable, so you'll see the pot of cable down here. And then I have a coupler going into a probe in high impedance going up to channel two. So that way I'm getting a reflection, or I should be getting a reflection in this cable. Um, and channel two will tell me when the signal got to the end of the cable, plus of course the time of transition between the probe tip and the scope itself. Um, but we can't see that here, right? So one way you could do it is you just change the time base until you can see what you want to see, right? So now we have the, the initial pulse, the reflection, and here's channel two uh, picking up the, the pulse down at the end of the cable. But uh, so another way to do this uh, would be the zoom function on this oscilloscope. So here now we have our waveform. We can see two, it's possibly two kilohertz. Uh, and we can't see a heck of a lot there as you saw before. But you could enter the zoom either by pressing on the horizontal control knob or on the zoom button like this. So now you can still see above here your main uh, oscilloscope trace that you had before. Uh, but now you can see in closer detail that there's a heck of a lot more information there than what you could see before. So that's how it works. Now it, it has a few little features in here. If I press on uh, this button here, I can change the focus between either the zoomed window or the main window. And if we're down in the zoom window, then all the controls work on the zoomed window. So if I stretch out the time base, it stretches out the time base of the zoomed area. If I shift it, it shifts the zoomed area. Now, likewise, if I set the focus up on the main area, if I shift it, it ch changes the time base up there. You can see that the other little pulses, I don't know if you can or not, but I can see these other little pulses here and here will get shifted off the screen. So you're basically changing the originally set time base. And of course you can change the position this way too. Uh, of course it makes it difficult to find your trace again. Um, so most of the time, depending on, on what you're looking at, you would be um, changing parameters down here. We, we change the time base. You can see that the window here increases. So that's basically what we're displaying. When we have a time base set like this down here, then we're displaying all of that portion in black there. And we can shrink that up again and get back to our uh, signal of interest here. That's it. That's the zoom mode on the Signet SDS 2000X Plus series. I think some might find it handy and some might not. As for me, I usually just do this. All right. Thank you very much.